Hey guys, this is Glogmeister26. Doing a quick video today on my EDC. Things have changed since the last time. I've been uh, I've been away from YouTube for a while. Not not uh, making videos, but definitely watching videos. A lot of great video uh, makers out there with a lot of great information. Anyway, let's get started. First of all, new addition. For those of you who remember, I was carrying the LCP um, Ruger LCP, and now I've switched over to uh, this little. Bodyguard by Smith & Wesson. Gun is clear. What I love about this gun is you can lock the slide back. You could also do that on the LCP, but it just wouldn't lock back on the last, uh, after the last round. This one also has a safety, which I don't use, and a very easy takedown uh, lever. Once you take it apart a couple of times, it gets really easy, unlike the LCP, which was a bit of a pain. This one also has InSight Laser, which is a nice little option. I don't know how often I'll be using it, but it's definitely cool. Um, at least everyone thinks so that looks at this gun. The other great thing about this gun was the grip on it. I have the extender on, well, actually this is, what, uh, this is a flat one. This is the one I carry in my pocket uh, with Hornady uh, 90 grain. Um, they work flawlessly in this gun, but so does everything else. I, I shot the Winchester white box and uh, gave me no problems which is something I could not say with the LCP. This is one I usually carry in the gun, the little pinky extender. Very comfortable grip. Almost feels like, I mean, why doesn't Glock make a 380? Because this is what I think the Glock 380 would feel like. Very comfortable, very slim, great to carry in the pocket. I'm currently carrying it in this DeSantis uh, pocket holster, which I had for my LCP, which I have for all of my guns. So, it goes in here. Very compact package, and uh, nice looking little gun. I'm glad I traded the LCP. I love the LCP, and it worked pretty well with the Hornady's, um, but I just got offered a lot of money for it, so I went ahead and upgraded a little bit. Okay, that's the gun, and one in the gun, and one goes in my pocket. <clears throat> um, same watch as always, my G-Shock Solar. Great, uh, great, um, great watch. A very durable. I, I wear it all the time. I wear the sunscreen on Mondays and Tuesdays when I'm out, outdoors at the range. And let me tell you something. Uh, you can't tell. Some of my other watches got stained or they got that white film on there. Um, this will be upgraded soon. Uh, I've been looking at another watch. As you know, my birthday is next month. Anyway, going back to the light. This little light has been awesome. Um, I, I can't say anything bad about these lights, um, and um, these four sevens light lights are 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 damn great. I had, as you know, I had the longer one in blue with the push button, and it kept getting activated in my pocket. This one I just throw in my pocket where my wallet is, and it just I don't even feel it until I need it, and uh, it's great to have. Very light package. Swiss Army knife that hasn't changed. Carry it all the time. I believe there's a super tinker with the uh, with the scissors on it. Um, I carry this a lot. I mean, it doesn't. I really don't use it a lot. But when I do need it, it's nice to know that I have it. And uh, everyone's always looks at me crazy when I pull it out of my pocket, and they're like, "You've been carrying that around?" Well, yeah, I do carry it around. And um, sometimes it does get a little. It's a little thicker than my tinker, but I like the option of those scissors. I just like having that on there. Uh, it's been getting a little beat up with all the pocket um, carry, but um, I like to know that's there. A lot of people use those little multi-tools, uh, the little squirts, but I find that this is this has a much nicer blade, much nicer screwdriver, uh, a little more substantial. Plus I have the option of the little blade. I love this little blade, especially at the range when I'm cutting cardboard, because it goes effortlessly, it'll just go, it'll cut nicely without really any resistance, you know? It also cut paper if you put it on top of the cardboard. Very precise cutting. I really like that. Um, this um, Paracore bracelet, uh, I get a lot of compliments on it. It's red underneath with the black on top. I've been getting a lot of compliments. And uh, for you that haven't um, been keeping up on my Paracore stuff, uh, right now I have a contract for about 200 bracelets um, through this um, this group at, at work. and. Um, they're, they're selling uh, as fast as I can make them, and they're pretty much selling them. It's a nonprofit. It's for a good cause. So anyway, we sell them at work. Uh, they're selling for uh, anywhere from 10 
to twelve dollars depending on how intricate they are or how many um, what kind of design I make but um, I've been very surprised because honestly I didn't think they would sell for ten dollars but like I said it was for a good cause at work and guys seem to be paying the money and it's neat, neat to see a lot of guys wearing these at work um, and, and buying it for their spouses because I'm also making the pink ones um, I've showed this in another video it's my newer paramilitary 2 uh, satin blade uh, great knife and like I said in my other e um, my three favorite EDC knives uh, it seems that I always go back to these knives the paramilitary 2's because they're slim uh, good uh, working blade and as a lot of people have proven uh, these knives can take punishment and they're good working knives also anyway this is my newer one black G10 I've always wanted a black G10 one um, I wish it was all black uh, accessories and the screws and the clip uh, and the, the blade would stay satin. Spider Coat does a really good job. Anyway guys, that's my realistic view and my realistic EDC. I'm not going to show you a first aid kit or a lighter or all that stuff because I don't carry that stuff. This is um, the bare bones stuff I carry and I feel that I'm, I'm pretty prepared for pretty much anything that comes up. Um, Alright, have a good day and uh, be safe.